to uh, have a quick look at the tenses. I've already given you a detailed note, but the time is here, you know, running down, time is moving away. So you basically know uh, the tense, it deals with time. So basically what we are speaking, what you're writing, and the entirety of English grammar comes to tenses, basically. So if you are having issue with tense, means you are having issue with English grammar. Um, if you are having an uh, issue with English grammar, means you are having issue with the language. That's the that's the basic criteria over here. So we'll be concerned about time, whether the event uh, uh, of event is over, the event uh, is being done uh, till now, or the event will be taking place in future. So we 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 deal with the time over here and. No, for that I have already given you a detailed lecture on verb. You know, helping verb, uh, infinite uh, transitive verb, intransitive verb, action verb. So all those prior knowledge is going to help you uh, while reading this particular uh, chapter of tense. Uh, we all know the categories. The categories includes the past, bhut, uh, vartaman, that's the present, and obviously the future, which is not in your hand, but you just need to focus on the present. Anyway, let us uh, let this motivational talks be a thing of, of future. So we'll continue in these three categories. And each category are having four kinds of tenses. So total three into four will be having 12 kinds of tenses. So first, the simple tense, then the continuous tense, or also known as progressive tense, is a new term. And then there is perfect tense. And last is an amalgamation of both, uh, you know, uh, uh, perfect tense and continuous tense so it is perfect continuous tense so these are the four things simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous now for simple tense you need is am for simple present for simple past you need was you know uh, you want to make it plural where you know and for simple future you need to use will w i double -L, where you are going or shall where you are going to use sh uh, should or would, that's a different topic. We'll tell, uh, tell that thing in the lecture. No need to worry about that. So is, am, was, where, and will, shall. And for continuous, you have to add uh, ing with the verb. And all the things will be same. For example, uh, read, it becomes reading. Uh, and for, uh, you know, Continuous tense, you have to use is. Simple, uh, for present continuous, you have to use is reading. For past, you have to use was reading. And uh, for future, there's an addition, not will reading, will be reading. So uh, there is this, uh, you know, addition, be verb in future tense. Then we have perfect tense. For this perfect tense, you need to mug up a list of, you know, the past tense, uh, present tense, and the past participle. I've already given that list in the Google Classroom. You can check it over here. And for the perfect continuous, yeah, the, that's, a, you know, uh, a problematic area for you all. So don't worry, I'm going to teach you. But people say, uh, when I was uh, doing my master's, people say perfect continuous for future doesn't exist. But however it exists, but it's a, you know, debatable topic. Uh, let's not go over there. Uh, let's continue with the new one. Uh, so we have, you know, the simple present tense for your, uh, you know, uh, reference. So simple present tense example: I eat an apple. The subject is the I. Uh, the main subject eat is the verb, and object is the apple. And an has been used as an, um, you know, article over here. Now, how we are going to change this simple present tense into a continuous tense? Simple using ing, and you have to use am verb. A m. I am eating an apple. So the main structure remains same. You have to use ing with the main verb and you have to use is, am, or are. Okay, is, am, are, uh, they are, you know, very important, uh, uh, what should I say, aspects of present tense. And in the same, same way, there is an important aspect uh, in, uh, you know, uh, in the past tense also. So I eat an apple, it becomes I ate an apple in past tense. I am eating an apple. I was eating an apple in past tense. Now it's the perfect present continuous, present perfect tense is I have eaten an apple. So for uh, present tense, you have to use have, has, if, and for future tense, uh, sorry, for past tense, you have to use had. And for obviously with future tense, you have to use have or has. So in 
the present perfect tense and the perfect uh, perf uh, uh, future perfect tense almost remain same. You have to use will, shall. That those are the changes. For present perfect continuous tense, you have I have been eating an apple. So, uh, you know, uh, so I am eating an apple becomes I have been eating an apple. So, eating an apple, I remain the same. Ing I have you have to you have to take this thing have from the perfect tense it becomes have and you have to use bin verb b double e n uh, don't worry it becomes very confusing uh, but I don't want to extend the lecture since I've already given all the notes the times are running out so just go through this lecture twice or thrice everything will be clear uh, so I've already uh, let there's another chart for you all. So see the subject plus object, uh, it is already there. So for present tense, you have V, V1, it represents the main verb, okay, V2, the verb, okay. So then subject plus me, verb, or is, am, are, then you have to, you know, the verb, it be, the past tense of the verb, the we, and you have for the future, you have to write will, and it becomes a verb. Continuous, ing, am, are. So I began with an example, now I'm going back to the rules. What does people do? Go start with the rules, go back to the example. With the help of example, you can deduce the rule. It, it becomes easier for you. Okay. Will be ing for perfect tense, has, have, and the verb, had, and will have, and the verb, perfect continuous, you can see. Uh, it's almost like continuous tense and almost like perfect tense, but it has to use the ing of continuous tense, and you have to use the has or have with the perfect tense. So you take the has, have, or perfect, you take the ing of the continuous, and you have to add B double E N. B is common in both present and past and future. There's the same thing. Just remember this particular chart. And I'm going to the last thing that is, you know, the three tenses, past, present, future, each has a, each of them are having a, uh, each of them are having four different kinds. So three to two, uh, four, it becomes 12. Let us see. And we have examples. So simple past tense. I studied English yesterday, present. I study English. Future, I was studying English. Continuous, I was studying English. I am studying English. I will be studying English. Now, the perfect, past perfect, I had studied and had replaces with had. I will have studied English. And then I had been studying English. I have been studying English. I will have been studying English. That's become the perfect continuous tense. That's a quick detour. Go through all the rules I have stated. I've given the notes. I have worked hard on it. So please be through it. And if you have any other query, I'll try to solve it. And in the end of the Google Notes, uh, in the Google Classroom Note, there is an exercise trying to solve it. We can check it. You can always check your progress. You can always go back to Ray and Martin. You can always go back to King's Grammar. Thank you. Thank you all.